So welcome to another video. In this video, we're not doing the usual Yorkshire Chris Weekly. Instead, we're just talking about plant hardiness, getting them through winter, and also getting complacent about the mild winters we've recently had. So when we talk about plant hardiness, we talk about what conditions plants can be subjected to and survive and grow the next year. So there's a couple of different scales we use for hardiness. There's the American scale, which we normally see uh, zones 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 talked about. And there's the new UK scale, which is a H scale, which we normally see H1 to 6 talked about. And I'll we'll, we'll talk about them and the differences. Uh, and we also we think about the different types of plants. And when we talk about it being hardy, do we mean it'll completely get through winter and be completely untouched or sustain damage and then grow out the damage in the next year because they're quite different things. And depending on the plant, it can uh, take different lengths of time to grow out any damage. And sometimes that's okay if it's fast growing, but if it's a slow growing plant getting damaged every year, then it's not really classed as hardy. So let's go through the scales. So the American, scale of six seven eight nine and ten ten being like a very warm sort of almost like florida uh climate and then you know four five and six like the talking like canada talking about the very uh midwest cold states when it gets very very cold in winter and then we have the seven eight nine which is somewhere in between and then we have the UK scale, which is quite a new scale. Um, and we're looking at H3 to H6 for the plants we grow outside in the UK. So H3 is equivalent to an American 9B to a 10A. So that are plants that can be subjected to cold temperatures down to minus five to up to plus one as the lowest temperatures. So that's equivalent to um, plants that can grow in an unheated greenhouse or in a very mild winter on the coast or in London, which is a warmer area of the country. And so of these plants, we talk about aeoniums, we're thinking about the, the mild surviving palms, such so as the Marsh, Trachycarpus martianus and Washingtonia which are completely untouched down to about minus five. Some of these plants will go lower, but they'll have a lot of damage and take a long time to get out. So you might get Washington down to minus 10 with complete defoliation. When it's a large plant, a small plant of Washingtonia robusta could easily die under minus five in a bad winter. And then we're talking about H4 plants, and these are plants that will get through an average winter so that's minus five to minus 10, which is most of the country in sort of an average winter really, so not getting to lower than minus 10. So that's a lot more plants that we grow. And that's equivalent in America to a, probably a, an 8B to a, a 9A. And then we have the H5 category, which is basically what most people class as a hardy plant. So that's down to minus 10 to minus 15 as an absolute low. Mm. So that's like a cold winter for most of the UK. And that's like a 7B to an 8A in American scale. And then we have the H6 plants and they are down to minus 20. So winter minus 15 to minus 20, which is like an American zone 6B to a 7A. So that's like a very cold winter. So if you look, think back at the last few winters we've had, the winters I've had have been H3, H, about H3, some H4 winters. So I've only had down to minus five for the last four winters. And before that, we've had a bit lower. So that was minus seven, minus eight. So I've been able to grow a lot of plants in the last few years that wouldn't have survived sort of 10, 15 years ago. The climate's changing a bit, but we're just having a run of really warm mild winters so if you think back to 2010 when we had the really cold winter i had minus 10 in the garden and we had sub-zero for two weeks so day and night temperatures didn't get above zero and that is really clashed as a h5 winter a very cold it's cold winter um so that's a 7b 8a in america but there's 
it's only a, a general guideline, those, those scales. It's worth looking those up um, just to get familiar with what temperatures and what sort of damage can be sustained under those uh, zones. But it's very generalised. You can have a plant that can get through a H4 winter one year, so down to minus 10 perhaps, but then die at minus 5 another year because it might be wetter or it might be a longer sustained period of cold or it could be accumulation of a few winters where it's slowly getting a bit of damage at the roots and just getting weaker and then one year just finishing it off. So it's it's a general rule that it's a you know, guidelines basically. So I think in recent years, if you've been growing palms and cacti and agave, so sort of the tender plants or half hardy plants for many years, you might think I can grow loads of stuff, which you can. You might get away with it for many years, but then you'll get a cold winter and it will obliterate a lot of different plants. So like I said, the last four or five years have been very, very, very mild, really. Some areas of the country have still had minus 10 on certain nights, but most of the country minus 6 it seems to have been like the lowest for a lot of the country. And some areas have hardly had under minus 2, minus 3. And the lowest temperatures, like I said, I've had minus 5 for a few hours last winter. And the few winters before that, it's been minus 2, minus 3. So lots of plants that I've put in the ground have survived. So things like the Trachycarpus, Latisectus, Marchanus, the aloe polyphylla um, and some of the cacti and agaves I've got in the ground have survived. It's great. I'm happy to have, but I know realistically if we get a really bad winter, a lot of those plants will be wiped out. So what I'm trying to get over is the fact that it's worth considering when you're buying plants what the hardiness is and what are the chances of getting a cold winter where you live. Because you can get a plant looking great for a few years and you think it's hardy. You can say, oh, I've grown it for five, six, seven, eight years. It must be hardy because it survived those winters. That doesn't mean it's hardy. It means you've had mild or average winters for a while, but a cold winter could kill them off. I'm trying not to be all doom and gloom. But I'm just trying to be more realistic about the palms we grow and also don't want people wasting their money on plants and then getting upset when they've died. So it's worth sort of researching the plants, looking at the overall hardiness level and then thinking, have I got the right growing conditions in my garden? Because you can have a plant, if we're looking at agaves, loads of agaves and cacti, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20 in quite a lot of cases is a quoted hardiness. And that might be the case for a few nights for a few hours and a few nights a year when in their ideal locations the next day might be up to 15 20 degrees sunshine in its habitat so in um, america whereas in the uk if we get minus 10 minus 15 could easily kill the same plants out because the next day it might not get above freezing or it might get to five degrees or it might be a really soggy wet murky winters you know winter so those plants suffer and die, even though the hardiness might be said to be minus 20, minus 25. So it's not just the temperature that determines the hardiness of the plant. It is the growing conditions. It is the length of winter and the size of the plant as well. The bigger the plant, if we're thinking about perms, the more hardiness it, it, it has. And that is because it's got a bigger mass and it can sustain more hours at a cold temperature without freezing right through the plant, which would kill it. It might just freeze the outer edges, damage leaves, but not actually kill the growing points in the middle. So loads of factors when we're talking about plant hardiness. I could go on and on for ages talking about this and a bit of a rambling video this I appreciate, but I just thought it was worth talking about that and talking about protecting plants as well. So plants that are hardy-ish, but would benefit from a lot of protection when it's such as Musabaju, which are hard, they are pretty hardy but the stems aren't too hardy and um, Dixonia tree ferns, Antarctica tree ferns, if we protect those really well then they'll survive pretty much any winters but because we've had mild winters a lot of people have thought well it's don't need to protect them because they survived the last five six seven years without any protection which is great 
but then if we do get a, a normal hard cold winter then it might kill those plants and if you just spend a bit of time a little bit of money just protect them in winter every year even if it is a mild winter they'll survive and then it'll survive a really cold winter because you've done that time and effort to protect it so i think a message is basically to research your plants if you haven't been growing half hardy tender plants for if you're doing it for less than 10 years then you've not really had a really cold winter and also protect your plants once you research them once you know how the how, what the ground conditions are for those plants and put them in the best optimal soil conditions and aspect in the garden so i hope you find this video useful um obviously i'll be back to my normal york chris weekly next week when we'll be doing all sorts in the garden thanks for watching and listening